Jordan's in with Elsa, his son's newly adopted kitten. Elsa's brother, Jack, died suddenly last night. Yesterday, he started frothing at the mouth. He's had diarrhea the last couple days. Just thought we'd get him checked out today, but he didn't make it last night, so we're here to make sure Elsa's fine. Hi, little Elsa. Oh, you are tiny. My goodness. Let's get your weight. Huh? One pound, four and a half ounces. She is really small. She eating good? Yeah, she's eating awesome. Have you seen anything in her stool as far as worms? Uh, no. I check Elsa, and she seems to be a very healthy kitten. Uh, I brought her brother with me. Mm -hmm. He's dead, and he was frothing at the mouth. Oh. Foaming at the mouth is a common sign of rabies. He bit me last night, ended up getting my finger pretty good, and drew blood. You should go to a doctor and get checked out. Anybody that contracts rabies, in other words, they got bit and then they start showing symptoms, 99% of them die. If Jack did have rabies, there's a good chance Elsa could too. I'm just a, just a little nervous, just a little. In order to rule out the disease, Jack's body will need to be taken to animal control. Jordan needs to quarantine Elsa until he finds out what's going on with Jack and to see if Elsa starts showing any signs of rabies. So keep her in your house in an area where she can't get outside. OK. Until we can confirm that he is negative. And away from my kid. Yes. I'm probably going to have my kid checked out, too. I don't think either cat bit or scratched him, but I don't want to chance it. Something needs to happen, because you definitely don't want rabies. I'm definitely going to go get checked out. <laughs>